Check out how thin the skin is. OMG. This is the chicken corn soup and it's so good. The corn is so sweet and the chicken is just makes it like such a sweet savory kind of soup. Mm. Time for some soup dumplings. Look how thin this dumpling is. So what you do, you bite the top off, create a little hole, and I like to put vinegar inside. Mm. Steaming hot. So this is the Shanghai lo mein. So basically it's like the regular lo mein but it is a little thicker than usual. And it's so good. Mm. The noodles are like perfectly cooked. It's like hard but also really chewy. Goodbye. <laughs> There's a lot of Shanghai restaurants, but this one is the best now. It's Loki. so good. Like, it doesn't look the fanciest, mm -hmm. but it's the best, and that's how you know it's truly authentic. It is cash only, or you can Venmo. Yes. Soy sauce. Do you see her? Fake sriracha. <laughs> So this is the best dumpling shop ever. This is how the dumpling looks. Mm. So juicy. Oh! Five second roll. And this soy sauce, it's not just regular soy sauce. It's like vinegary and sweet. But it's in 10 pieces for only $4, which is the cheapest dumpling shop in Chinatown. You guys know this, but I hate things where like, the skin is so thick and then there's barely any color. Mm. So the skin, it's like perfectly soft, but the, the bottom is crispy and there's like juicy pork inside. So good. Mm. Like perfect amount of curry and the fish bar itself is so chewy but not too hard. I love this. Other places they have really dry pork. This is why I love this place. So you grab the fried dough and you dip it. Once you dip it, it becomes like this. So good. The black truffle charm fun. Look at all the filling. So as you can tell, it's filled with mushroom and corns and there is like truffle inside the rice roll itself. Immaculate. I can eat this every day. So this is the Tang Dai Jok. So it has a lot of things in it. Peanut, vegetables, eggs, octopus, different types of meat inside. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god, wow. This is like authentic Hong Kong milk tea. Like Hong Kong milk tea has this like bitterness but yet really like sweetness to it and it's so good. Wow. It's hot but it's so good. OMG, you guys have to get the Hong Kong milk tea here.
I'm so glad that Nachong is one of the only restaurants, the, one of the only Viet restaurants that's still using real sriracha. I can't stand the fake sriracha. But look at how big this bowl is compared to my face. Best pho in NYC is at Ma Trang. Everywhere else is mid. Fire, bro. Look at this big chunk of meat. Some beef brisket. Mm. And my absolute favorite thing came. Are you full? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. demolished. I'm currently heading to Spring Boy, which is my favorite FJ restaurant. And we're having family dinner tonight, so that's how you know it's freaking amazing. My whole family loves that restaurant. And everything is just so good and so cheap there. Like, you can get a full plate of like noodles or like protein for only $7. And when I mean a whole plate, it's like a huge plate where you do family style. Like, you definitely can't finish it by yourself. Obviously, you need a bev. I go with this being hometown fire. So other people here, so it's a little loud. But basically, you take this. It's so good and it's so like seafoody and spicy with like umami flavor. It's so good. I spit this out. I don't know what it is. Mm. Listen to the crunch. It's like sour, vinegary, peppery. Love it. This is the Fujo Mai Fun. Mm. It's like perfectly charred. And it has flavor of like veggies, eggs, and pork. And the noodles are like just so perfectly done. Like no other FJ stores do it like Spring Boy. Oh my god. This is the ultimate FG dish ever. Listen. This is the Fujianese rice cake. It's like the Korean one, but Fujianese. We stir fry it with meat and vegetables, and it's so good. The texture is so good. Next, we have the spare ribs covered in garlic sauce. Look at that glaze, guys. Fried taro covered in garlic sauce. Mm. Last but not least, FJ oyster pancake with chives. Mm. Perfectly crispy. The chives gives it, gives it a nice crunch and the oyster, it's not too much, it's not too overpowering. It's perfect, I love this. You take this oyster pancake and you dip it in the sauce and that's called... Mind blown. Mind freaking blown. Yeah. This next place is a little hidden. It's under like a whole bunch of like construction that's going on right now. But it's next to Chinatown Ice Cream Factory. Pepper salt squid. It's into the crunch. 
Mm. This is the fried pearl noodles. Mm. Texture is like perfectly chewy, and like the noodles are so bouncy. This is the curry beef brisket. They cook it super tender, and it's so good. Mm. I literally melting around. It's so good. Had with seafood, chicken. It's actually my first time trying the pineapple fried rice, so let's see how it is. Mm. I don't really taste pineapple, but there's like some sweetness to it, and it's like a little bit of curry. Mm. Is it good? Is it yummy? So we literally had so much left over. We ended up taking it to go, but we didn't finish anything because it was just like so much. We got four dishes for five people. So you know if you go there, you're getting your money's worth. <laughs>